Disneyland haul for you. I am so excited to share this with you. Last week, I went home to visit some family and snuck away for like 24 hours, went up the night before, went into the parks, went to Disneyland the next day, and then came back and I bought some stuff. And I wasn't planning on buying this much stuff, but there was some good merch. There was not as much merchandise as there usually is, and there was way less merchandise than there was, or there is, I guess I should say, at Disney World. But I wanted to film a haul because I don't feel like there's a ton of like Disneyland hauls. And let's just jump in. Okay, the first thing I got is this sweatshirt. It says Disneyland Resort since 1955. It has the castle, which as I was looking at it, like I think it's kind of funny because that is not Sleeping Beauty's castle. It is much bigger. This is kind of like a rust color. I wanted something that looked a little vintage-y. I have my Walt Disney World like vintage sweatshirt on and this was the same, it's like the same style. This thing was pricey. I already wore it. It was, where's the tag, $52.99 for a sweatshirt. Oh my goodness. That just felt like a lot, but whatever. I wanted it. Um, I got a size large because it's 100% cotton and they shrink. I don't feel like, yeah, they shrink. I feel like this one, like, my, I would not be able to get a medium. I think it would just be too short in my arms. So... That's the first thing I got. And the next, I got another sweatshirt. This one says, play in the park. And I liked this because I like this print. I feel like you see it like other places as well. It's kind of fun. I liked that it has both California Adventure and Disneyland. I loved the Dumbo. There's Tinkerbell up here in the fireworks. And then on the sleeve, it says Disneyland Resort. Also, this is a hoodie, which I don't really have very many hoodies right now. And it's white, which I'm a little bit scared of because, I don't know, I feel like white's not the best color. But I loved it. And it was probably $49.99. I got a large as well because it is 100% cotton. And... They do shrink, but that is the other sweatshirt I got. Next, I got this for my husband. It is like a Hawaiian shirt, and it has the Haunted Mansion on there. It was $85. Yeah. But he wanted it. Haunted Mansion is his favorite ride. It's kind of like vintage-y. Isn't that cool? I've seen this before. I don't feel like I've seen it at Disney World. I feel like I've seen people wear it, but I've never actually seen it. But it has like everything. Madame Leota, the Hitchhiking Ghosts, Hatbox Ghost. Isn't that cool? So I'm excited for him to wear this in the parks. He was super excited to get it. Next I got this. I got a beanie. I live in Michigan. I wear beanies a lot. I loved the way that looked, Disneyland Resort. This was $21.99. I wish that Disney World had beanies. I get it, it's not really cold enough, although it is pretty cold there right now. But it's not really cold enough for them to do beanies, but I thought that was fun and something that I would just wear at home around. Next, I got a hat for my son. It says Disneyland Resort. And it has Mickey and Goofy and Donald and Pluto. It's adjustable, which I like. He's kind of getting bigger and the hats with the elastic on the back don't always fit. I don't remember how much this was. He already wore it. I want to say it was like between 12 and 16. I might not have that correct. I will go ahead and link in the description box below all the items that I can find on Shop Disney. So you can take a look at them, but like that. Okay, then also for my son is this spirit jersey. It is for the the Numo. This is a Disneyland Resort one. This was the only one that they had that said Disneyland. They had other spirit jerseys that just said Disney. And then it has the D in the front. This was $21.99, which is nutso, but he loves them, so it's fine. <laughs> Okay, then I got these coasters. 
these are that Jared Marayama and I have the bag right back there I don't know if you can see it by an orange bird and bing bong that kind of like matches this it's the same collection these are like plastic coasters I guess they're like silicone here I'll open them up yeah so they're like the just silicone coasters set of six coasters they were $24.99 I had not seen these before but I just thought they were fun so they have a pirate um almost said spaceship bird <laughs> space mountain the teacup with the rabbit the um Haunted Mansion, Goofy as the Skipper, and then one of the children from It's a Small World. I just thought they were fun. I feel like we're always like looking for coasters to put our drinks down, so got those. And next I got this. I thought this was kind of funny that they had it at Disneyland. I have not seen this at Walt Disney World. I got this at World of Disney, and it has Orange Bird. It's a little plastic sipper. It's like insulated. It's too so it doesn't sweat. And then it has the orange and the little hidden Mickey and oranges. And then the little orange bird charm on the string and the straw. You know, it doesn't come out. This was $22.99. I actually got two of these. I got one for my girlfriend as well. But I love orange birds. So I'm actually going to use this. It's not going to go on my shelf. But got that. And then I got an ornament. I wanted to get another ornament, but I didn't go in the Christmas shop. We were going to go in there, and then we didn't, and we were going to go back, and we didn't. However, I'm going back to Disneyland in a few weeks. I know. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to the Disney Agent Education Program at Disneyland, so I will be doing more shopping then. But I got this because it was the only one that I saw. They usually have these. So this is the Starbucks California Adventure ornament. They usually have it for um, Disneyland too. I did not see them. I feel like they had these everywhere, the California Adventure one, but they didn't have the Disneyland one. I'm thinking that they are sold out. I collect these. Uh, I have one for Magic Kingdom for this year. I would like to get one for each park, but I was trying not to go too crazy the last time I was there. But hopefully I can find the Disneyland one because I'd like to have the set of both. Let me see if I can hone in on this. There we go. There we go. So it has Walt, Carthay Circle. I can't quite see in the viewfinder, but love that. Okay, and then I had to go find this. I got this. This is for my husband. This is like Thanos or Iron Man. I'm not quite clear. But it is like a drink holder. So you put your hand in there. And then it has a little... This thing actually comes out. Kind of. There we go. Um, it came with a drink. This thing was $29.99. I got this in... Avengers Campus at the Shorma Stand. I mean, this is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't even know what to say. I mean, it's cool. I think he's going to end up putting it on his desk. He still works from home. So put it on his desk here at home and like maybe put pens or something in here. But he just thought it was cool. It lights up. And that's all. <laughs> And then the last thing I got was jewelry. This is an Alex and Ani bracelet. This was a set of two and I got one, I gave one to my girlfriend, Sarah, cause she's one of my best girlfriends and is also a total Disney lover. So these, it's rose gold and it says best Disney friends ever. So they're like friendship bracelets. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you. I can't remember how much these were. I think it was $79.99, maybe $84.95. I like looked for these. I knew that they had them. I knew that I wanted them. I could only find them at the Emporium at Disneyland. I looked everywhere else and they didn't have them. And I got the last one at the Emporium. So I'm really glad that I got those for us. And then the last thing I got are some charms. I got three on this trip, which was more than I was going to get. But I felt like I had to get them because I feel like if you see them, you need to get them. One of them 
Well, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about them and then I'm going to film them close up later because I don't think I'm going to get a good shot of them. But um, I got these. There is a little Pandora store back in New Orleans Square, like behind Pirates. It's kind of hidden. If you kind of don't know what you're looking for, you wouldn't find it. Back by the bathrooms. That's where I got these. So the first one that I got isn't really Disneyland. Um, I guess I, I guess it is. It's something that I wanted when I went to Disney World last. I've looked for it twice and they've been sold out. So it is the Happily Ever After Charm. Okay, so this is the Happily Ever After Charm. It says Happily Ever After on this side. And then on this side it has, we'll say Mickey and Minnie looking at the fireworks. So this is really for Happily Ever After at Magic Kingdom, but I found it there, so I decided to get it. Okay, I feel like these Pandora charms are extremely hard to film, but this is Sleeping Beauty's Castle. It is silver, and then the top of the castle is pink. And then on the bottom, on the bottom here, it says Disneyland. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that, but trust me, it does. And then let me show you the back. And then that's the back of the charm here. And then the last charm I got, it's gonna be really hard to see, but it's a 2022 charm. It says two, and then the zero kinda has a little Mickey head. And then it says two, two. And then the rest of the charm has like fireworks on them. So you can see kinda the fireworks on it. I know they're really, really hard to see, but trust me. That's what it says. Okay, that's all I picked up from Disneyland. That's all that's in my haul, but I have one more thing I wanna show you. It's not from Disneyland. I got it from Amazon, but I don't really have a place to share it, but I wanted to share it with you. This is the little golden book, orange bird book. This I pre-ordered like a long time ago, I think like in September. And it came the day before I left. I have not read it yet, but it's just a little story about Orange Bird, so I love Orange Bird. I thought it would be fun. And as I'm looking on the back, like they have other um, little golden books. They have a Jungle Cruise, It's a Small World, Haunted Mansion, Space Mountain, in addition to like the thousand golden books we all read as a child. So I got this out of Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it below if you wanna pick it up, but I thought it was fun. So tell me in the comments below which item that I picked up is your favorite. The merchandise at Disneyland It's very different than at Disney World. I feel like there was not as much of it as I think I said at the beginning of the video, but I think I still got some good stuff, don't you? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe if you have not already. I have Disneyland vlogs coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, and I forgot. I got one of these bags. I only got the medium. I think it was like $3, but...